Hi Taurus and welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well. This is a mid-August reading for those of you with someone on your mind you feel a strong connection with, so there could be a twin flame or soulmate. You may or may not be in communication with them right now and you're wondering what's going on. So we're going to look at your energy and this person's energy. So we'll start with your energy, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Remember it's general. A lot of you are very loyal to this person. I don't know if you could just hear the dog barking there in the background, that's, that's a sign. Um, and this person is loyal as well. Okay, I'm, I'm getting a bit of a stuck energy here for some of you. You're, you're trying to heal. I feel it's over this connection. Um, this person may have ghosted you in the past. You might feel quite lonely right now. And you don't see what's going on. You're kind of... I'm getting a confusion coming over me at the moment, like this mist of confusion. Okay, this is a soul connection, I feel. A lot of you know this as well. There could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. A lot of you, as I said, I was feeling that loyalty, but you know this is your one. Some of you had plans to build a family or um, maybe go into mission with this person and they, they may have left you quite abruptly. Now death in reverse shows two things here. One, it's not over with this person, which a lot of you know. But I'm also getting in your energy, you haven't quite sort of transformed yet. Come out of your ego, um, you know, out of your head and into your heart. So that's the block I feel. Uh, we've got Scorpio energy. Some of you are unfulfilled. Yeah, after this painful ending, you're reflecting a lot, but you're feeling unfulfilled. Now, the universe is trying to sort of show you signs. Some of you may not be seeing this. So look out for, for signs, okay? Let's see your person. Okay, so we've got fire coming through. So I feel it's this person on your mind. They're thinking about you at this time. But I feel there is another energy in the picture here. They could be in a relationship. So this person, so I've got mixed energies here. Um, I do feel they're in a long-term 
relationship, committed, they might, they might have a family. Um, but they're feeling quite trapped at this time. Two cards here showing that. They're not, they, don't, they feel they're not going anywhere. Um, this person struggles to communicate. So they're not sharing this with people around them. I feel that they put on a front. So you may see them on social media and they may look all happy on the outside, but on the inside, they're actually making a decision around what they want. They're trying to stay balanced. To have justice, Ten of Pentacles, I'm seeing a divorce or separation for some of them, is on their mind and, you know, to come potentially. So we've got Libra, Pisces there. Let's see how they feel about you. So they think about you, they're thinking about you now. And the loss of this connection. They feel it's a spiritual connection. And I feel that their emotions for you, with the High Priestess, are sometimes a bit back and forth. They feel that you wouldn't want to know them if they reached out. Same sort of energy here, because um, we've got Ten of Wands, the Fool. So it's like, they feel it's too heavy, you know, it's over. They couldn't go back to that. But then they think about reaching out, what it would be like to start again. They do feel it's a strong connection. They know it's something. I feel they don't quite possibly understand what it is, but um, there's a connection there. The more that they balance their energies, and you do, the more they feel connected to you. So we've got Sagittarius energy. Um, and I feel that they're checking you out online at the moment. There could be an age gap here. So, as you can see, there's not really much movement, but they are thinking about you. I just feel they're a bit immature in the way they communicate. Doesn't mean doesn't mean they're younger, but that's really what I'm picking up. So we've got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini as well. So let's see what action they might take. Wow. So there's the page of swords again, checking you out online. Really feeling back and forth again, that same energy but then they move on from their situation. And that's really come through here with the world. Completion of a chapter in their life. Quite a big chapter to have a major arcana. We've got a repeat card here, Temperance. So it could be a Sagittarius. Um, but again, I'm feeling, you know, divine connection here. When they find their balance within, they make a decision to communicate with you. There's a lot of passion. They want a new beginning. 
Um, to have judgment and temperance is quite powerful because this is the universe deciding, you know, when it's time. And this is a renewal of, of this connection, very spiritual. So, a big decision that this person makes in their life to make this change. Very positive. So we've got Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's clarify. Yeah, so there's been some things in the way, some worries, chaos around them, could have been in their home, you know, things haven't been great. As I said before, that's what I was feeling. It may look great on the outside, you know, this house might look great, inviting, but you go in and you've got all this chaos happening. So this person will be at a crossroads, deciding on their future. Do they continue where they're at or do they move on? I really feel this person is going to reach out to you eventually. So we've got that there with the communication. They're going to express how they feel um, and want a new beginning. Commitment in the end with judgment, you know, this is a divine connection. But they might tell you they've been in a commitment as well, you know, and, that, and what they've been through, I feel. Okay, let's take some angels and ancestors. So we've got drop your shields. Okay, so I feel this is for this person definitely because they've been hiding things, but the same for you as well. Time to start healing in your own time with that first card and trying to open up. Wow, I've got a lot of cards here. Be devoted and committed. Yeah, I was feeling that before, wasn't I? That you're very committed. A lot of you are. If you believe in this. Um, some of you may be writers. You're being guided to write. They're showing me this card as well. Maybe write in your journal to release how you feel. Track down your fears and desires. Now we've got the stag, so this is for the Divine Masculine, I feel, if you're in a Twin Flame connection. This is what they need to do. They need to be open about what they want and what they're scared of doing. Because they're at this crossroads. Stand your ground. So you may have some obstacles. Um, this could be your lesson. You've had to learn to stand your ground, have boundaries in place. And this could be the same for this person as well in their situation. Eagle, see from a higher perspective. Now, they got the hanged man, which is the same message. So that's where they're at right now. They need to look at things differently in terms of what they want, where they want to land. You know, they're sort of a bit up in the air, I feel. And same for you as well, if that resonates. You could be at a distance from this person. Okay, wow, that just flew out. Um, I was just going to 
So I'm taking some wisdom of the oracle that before I could even say that, that one, they wanted that one to come out. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, it was soulmate. So this is a very strong soul connection. We've got the key, he's got the key, you've got the lock, you've got the key to each other's hearts. You will come back together. You may be dreaming about this person. Be flexible. Now this is really like the eagle. See things from a higher perspective in terms of this new beginning in your life that's going to happen and focus on being in a good vibration okay and this is where things change try to do some chakra meditation to feel in alignment we've got the egg again for a new beginning that's on the way definitely a change in this situation I feel Okay, let's take some charms as well. Okay, quite a few there. Wow, we got your star sign, <laughs> Taurus. So, time to be strong, grounded. Yeah, because some of you are resistant to change. You know, that's coming through here. Death in reverse. Um, I know, Taurus, you can be a bit set in your way, sometimes known as being stubborn at times. I do know a Taurus <laughs> in my family, and I joke about this, you know, I'm not saying it in a bad way. You're very grounded, which, is, which goes in your favour, you know, as well. So we've got an apple, yeah, new beginning is really what I'm getting from this. Fresh new beginning. Fresh perspective, seeing things differently, yeah. Teddy bear, so... Some of you need some comfort, I'm getting from this. Um, this is like inner child wounding, you know, inner child love. You may have a child, could be for this person as well. We got a feather, so you may be seeing feathers. These are signs of hope, love and protection from your angels. So they are around you, supporting you and protecting this connection. And the starfish, that's beautiful, because this shows divine love. Starfish is a celestial symbol. So, your destiny, I feel. Um, this change is destined that's coming in your life. I really get here. Okay, Taurus, beautiful. So, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please do comment if it resonates. Sending lots of love and I'll see you soon.